Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today we are going to fix this types of error message and first of all just I want to resolve this types of warning message both Entity Framework 6 and Entity Framework Core are installed. The Entity Framework 6 tools are running use Entity Framework Core this types of message. If you are typing this migration with the Entity Framework Core like that Entity Framework Core slash add dash migration for Entity Framework like that so your warning message will be disabled easily like that uh, suppose add dash uh, migration uh, with the uh, entity framework core so entity like that so just copy that entity just i want to use entity framework core okay so just like that so here we have entity framework core add dash migration and the migration name just add student address so just i want to add student address so you can see that uh, here we have uh, migration is applied with the entity framework core add dash migration add student address and that is the build is started and you say that build succeeded and after that you will see that your migration is done like that there is a no your target project uh, does not reference entity framework this package is required for the entity framework core tools to work but it's not a uh, right uh, it's not to use this like types of things if you are using uh, entity framework core and add migration like that and just after that you have to use update dash database command and after the use update dash database command again we have the same message your target project does not reference entity framework so just use uh, like that entity framework core add dash migration instead of update database command so use update a dash database but i uh, just i want to remove uh, that uh, just use update database command and you will see that your uh, database is updated and your masses will be gone okay so if you want to remove uh, the entity framework core and entity framework 6 like that uh, that is entity framework 6 are installed so just uh, just i want to remove that part entity framework 6 from my project so first of all remove all the references from here in the in the file just you can see that uh, tables are builted and your migration is done by this so you can just remove that error message your target object does not reference entity framework like that message and if you want to delete uh, this warning message the, like that okay so just open your visual studio app and just open file explorer like that and after that first of all just remove close visual studio again wait for some times it will load it just I want to close this Visual Studio first and close Visual Studio and you can see that that is the hidden file uh, the .vs file that's just it's a hidden file you know that it's a hidden file show all these uh, hidden files so just I want to remove that first part so just delete it okay now after that just open Visual Studio again and just use your SLN file right there okay and now after that you can use migration again Okay, so here we have that uh, that is the part of repositories like that and here we have add dash migration oops that is package manager console update db migration just you can see that add dash migration update db migration 
and you will see that if you have any entity framework 6 uh, references is remaining then you will see that uh, your warning message will be shown otherwise it's not uh, visible on your screen and you can see that to undo this section to use migration migration is applied and your warning message will be disabled so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core